Welcome to Stroller Coaster Storytime, brought to you by Munchkin. You know Munchkin, they make all those cool baby products. On this show, we tell great stories in our own fun way, with great actors, Hello. Hello. fun sound, <laughs> meow, meow, meow. and me, Ross, your host. Today, we're telling the story of Stone Soup. You know, another word for stone is rock. Could we tell this story in a way that rocks a little harder? I love that! We now present the fantastic story of rock soup. Narrator, take it away! Once upon a time, there was a wise grandmother. I am wise. I know all about animals, big trucks, and why stop signs are red. Wow, she does know a lot. She was also a great chef. My macaroni and cheese is so good, it'll make you want to dance. Grandma had a granddaughter named Olivia. Hello. Olivia loved Grandma's cooking. Yum, yum. Her macaroni and cheese is so good, it makes me want to dance. One day, Grandma got her biggest pot and went to the park at the center of town. She filled her kettle with water and turned on her portable stove because she was old enough to do that. What are you making, Grandma? Grandma picked up a rock from the ground and dropped it into the pot. Rock soup, of course. Rock soup! Rock soup! Rock soup! Rock soup! Nope! Not yet on the rock soup song! Not until the soup's ready. Yeah, sorry. You got it, Grandma. How do you make rock soup, Grandma? You just put your rock into your kettle and wait. Olivia looked confused. If it only has a rock in it, won't it just taste like rocks? Trust me, Olivia. I'm wise, remember? Just then, a townsperson walked over. Ooh, hey, Grandma. What are you making? Rock soup, of course. Oh, <gasps> Can I taste? Sure. <sighs> Hmm. I love a soup with potatoes in it. Can I add a few potatoes? Throw some in. Another townsperson walked over. Oh, you know, when I make soup, I love to add celery. Toss it in! I heard you were making soup. When I was growing up, my abuela always put black beans into her soup. Yeah! Black beans are great in rock soup. Rock soup! Rock soup! No, 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 no. Soup's still cooking, so we're still not ready for the rock soup song. Sorry, Grandma. I just love to rock. Me too. More and more townspeople came up to Grandma and added their favorite soup ingredients. Salt! Paprika. How about a waffle? Sure. Why not? Nice! As more and more people came to the park to add to the rock soup, they started to hang out together and talk. Ooh, paprika. What is paprika, exactly? It is a spice that makes soup taste good. It was a fun party. Olivia stirred up the soup, which is a fun job to do. The soup smells amazing, Grandma. Let me taste. Yum, it's perfect. You can really taste the secret ingredient. What's the secret ingredient? The rock? The rock is just a rock. The secret ingredient is all of our friends coming together and making something awesome. Everybody grab a bowl. It's time for rock soup. That's my cue. Rock soup. Rock soup. Rock soup. Rock soup. Rock soup. Everybody sat down together for an amazing dinner full of laughs, love, and a lot of tasty soup. Mmm, rock soup. And Grandma proved how wise she was. You got that right. Because she knew that just like all the ingredients in rock soup, when everyone contributes a little, we can create a lot. Hooray! Food is amazing. It can teach us about our family traditions and culture. Plus, it tastes great. Learning to cook food can also be fun. You get to express your creativity and 
cooking for somebody always makes them happy. Thanks so much for joining us for Stroller Coaster Story Time. I'd like to thank all of our actors. Bye guys. Bye bye. bye. All of our fun sounds. Meow meow meow. And most of all, you for listening. That was Stroller Coaster Story Time with love and laughs from Munchkin. Thank you for joining us. And parents, go check out Stroller Coaster, our podcast for parents. And don't forget the waffles. Rock soup, rock soup.